Good morning. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a graphic uh, user interface install of the FreeCAD daily build. And, but before I do that, I want to show you some of the changes that are made on a, on a regular basis. This is the change log for f from the FreeCAD development um, forum or site. If you look at the first page, you can see those are all changes just done on one day. These are all the cha changes so far for today. These were for yesterday as of the recording of this video. So you see they there's daily changes going on over at FreeCAD development and I want to thank them for all that. That makes this they make this program great and it gets better every single day. So it, also on the FreeCAD web you have installation instructions. I highly recommend you, you checking out the um, the command line install. It's four lines and you're done. It really is uh, far easier than the GUI, even the GUI even though the GUI feels easier. But today we're gonna I'm gonna walk you through the GUI install. Now I already have this installed in my system, so some of the things are gonna seem like they're done already, and that's okay. We're we're just gonna show you. Um, so start out by just copying this text here. That tells you where the package, uh, the daily package is, and then we're gonna go over into the pre uh, the administration, and we're gonna go into software manager. Um, you'll need your password uh, of a pseudo user to do an administrative task. So it'll take a few seconds for the software administrator to come up on my system because it's slow. And then what you'll want to do is we're going to do edit software sources. You can see software sources and you're just going to go into the PPAs and you can see mine's already listed there. Um, yours won't be if you haven't done this. You're just going to go into the add a new PPA and you'll paste what we copied from the website into this. You'll see that exactly matches the website and just click OK and that will add your entry. We'll give you some little information click OK um, and then you want to perform an update the update will go through and it'll update all the package information so it'll add the packages from FreeCAD daily to your to your um, available software list so now you can close close this um, oops I didn't mean to close the whole thing let's go back in software manager and again you need a pseudo user again okay um, so it, the, it, it isn't probably in the category of graphics um, so we can go into that um, but instead of trying to find it through here let's just type let's just search and do free cat be a little bit easier so there you see the FreeCAD uh, daily. So that's what you're going to install. So if you double click that, you'll go into the install. Mine says remove because it's already installed. Yours will say install. You just click install and follow through the follow through the prompts. Actually, I could probably just remove that. I'll come back when it's done. Okay, I'm back. So I uninstalled FreeCAD and I'm going to show you just you just click install to install it and you'll see it'll uh, progress through the installation. I'm going to pause while it does that. And I'll come back at the next step. Okay, so that's it. Uh, FreeCAD is installed. There's no extra steps necessary. It finishes um, from that prompt. So at this point, you can just you can close that software software manager. And now, what you want to pay attention to on a daily basis is in your update manager, which is really the same software, just a different package. I'm going to open that up, and you see the update manager. You see you see FreeCAD listed here. So um, and you'll notice that, let's do a refresh, it probably should get rid of that update. And you'll notice that uh, mine's not set to update automatically. I like to trigger it uh, on a regular basis, maybe not every day, but uh, so what I'll do is I'll unselect these. And I guess, it so the PPA has a different version, I guess, than the update. Don't know how that works. So I'm gonna install this update and we'll give it a second and come right back. So you can see the FreeCAD package being downloaded here. Right now it's uh, downloading the documentation. Um, so that gets updated as well. Okay, and that's it. And that's how in Linux Mint you can download, install, and update uh, FreeCAD daily from the uh, package manager. You can also use the Synaptic Package Manager, and I strongly suggest you get into the command line install as it's um, maybe not easier, but it certainly is quicker once you know how to do it. 
thank you. If you like this video, per, please take the time to subscribe um, and click on the on the bell so that you get alerts to newer videos. Uh, also, if you don't, if you'd like, please share and like this video. Thank you so much.